Like, you just want to see it maximize more. How do you kind of get it to fit more? Uh, it's nothing coming. Else. It, it's coming. That, the Jazz team, we're thinking about them, DZ. They've had, like, different chapters in a long book already, not even kind of half a year, because it's like, wow, like, they, they don't seem like they're using Conley the way he needs to be used. And then defensively, like tonight, we saw a lot of these kind of nights. Then they went on that run, and a lot of people said, well, it's not an L.A. team. It's going to be them who's tough to beat. And where are they? I mean, how do you see Utah? How do you diagnose it? I, I like what I see, Casey. That's why I double-checked with our research, Kevin Cottrell, back there. When that win streak, they beat some good teams, and they play like six or seven bad teams. But they took care of business they're supposed to. Now you get on the road, you're playing the Spurs team who's playing better basketball, which we knew they would, and they've kind of dissected you a little bit and kind of found a few weaknesses. To your point, I talked to Mike Conley off-camera personally. I said, Mike, are you worried about starting? I asked Quinn Snyder, are you worried about Mike Conley? They both said the same thing, Sam. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, that'll make a difference. I want to win. And last but not least, Donovan Mitchell said, I wish we had more Mike Conleys as veterans <laughs> that we'd be a better NBA. So I'm not panicking on them. I like where they are. I think they're heading in the right direction to answer your question. Yeah, I love all that. Still uh, so the San Antonio Spurs led by another brilliant performance from DeMar DeRozan at 38. Close it out at the line. 127 points on the Utah Jazz. And the fight pops just continue to find ways to get it done. I know still sub 500, but after the start, it looked like they were going to run away and hide. Never, not so much. And back kind of in the thick of things, tough though, Sam, not to kind of go to the other side, where if you're Quinn, when you're not seeing as a coach consistency defensively, and you know you've got the talent, does it always then come somehow to communication and work ethic, the two things you don't want to be the two issues? It does, because for the years that Quinn Snyder has been there, this team has been together the last three, four years, it's been about their defense. Yep. That's what it's been about. Now, now. that's been the thing that they hang their hat on. We can go on the road, defense travels in the playoffs. But now they added some people. They knew they need to score the ball better. And 3D, I'll tell you this. It always happened. Whenever you start putting the emphasis on offense mm -hmm. over another area mm -hmm. or vice versa where your mm -hmm. team struggles in one area and you put the other emphasis in another area, you always struggle. And that's the thing because players get caught up. All players want to score. But they got to remember, if they're going to be special come playoff time, they're not going to outscore people. They have to defend because, again, we talked about Mike Connolly right. and his acceptance, but to me, they need Mike Connolly to play like Mike Connolly. Yep. If they're going to make any real noise in the NBA come playoff time, it's great that Mike Connolly is accepting this role. I would be better if Mike Connolly was pushing back a little bit because to me, that tells me he still got that fight. When a guy steps back like Mike Connolly at this stage of his career and he's still a young man, it's telling me he's lost his confidence. It's he's unsure of himself. You know, the great ones, the real all, the all stars, hey man. This bench stuff, it ain't working for me. Right. I didn't come here to come off the bench. And as a coach, it can be a distraction, but inside of you, you want that because you don't want your, a guy exactly. you brought in to be a star player saying, yeah. I'm okay with how, how you use me. Mm -hmm. I, that makes me uncomfortable. The other part to tie into that, I was going to ask both of you, DZ, is when you go through an injury like he did, which there's always a confidence battle of what do I have to give when I come back? How much do I have left? Can that almost kind of begin to set you on the wrong path? Because he, maybe he's just, look, he's in years anyway. He's been around a while, but he's coming off a tough injury, DZ. He's coming off a tough injury, and, and people, let's call it what it is, they're expecting Mike Conley to play to his contract because he has a big contract. Secondly, I, I agree with Sam 100%. You want a guy like to come in and be aggressive and say, hey, I'm still that guy. I'm still one of the best point guards in our game. Now, the first part of the conversation, when you switch your style of play, you want more offense. That's more jingles and more Bogdanovich. Mm -hmm. No Derek Favors. I say it again. No, no Derek, Derek Favors. Favors. Last year, when Gobert would go to the bench, Derek Favors was that second line of defense that held everything down. Now you're more offensive. We know Bogdanovich is not a defensive guy. We know jingles can play some good defense here and there, but not like Derek Favors. So that's the payoff. They're saying, I want to score more points, but my defense may slip a little bit, where last year that's where we held our hat from. Yeah, and, 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 and Case, ahead, that's Sam. okay for your defense to slip, and if you're scoring more, but now it's got to be a more of an emphasis on situational defense. You know, you got to be able to get the stops when you need them. In the past, right. Utah just shut you down. Now, if you're going to score more and you don't have the defensive players that you used to have, you're going to have to rely more on situational defense, and tonight they just didn't have it. And, look, you, you think about this. You mentioned point guard. Uh, that also, you might also, if you want to be one of those guys who's still one of the best, actually play the position that you're 
one of the best at. Right. That's part of the problem. But we segue from score more if you can't get the stops you need on defense.